Hey guys, this is Cheyenne with Soft Crochet Times, and today we're going to go over how to do a double crochet stitch. So for today's project, all you're going to need is some yarn and a hook. Scissors if you're feeling special. Alright, so I'm going to be using a 65 millimeter hook, and I believe this is Wool Ease yarn. It is a extra chunky yarn, and I'm using this that way it's a lot easier for you guys to see it in the video, and hopefully it'll help out more for the beginners. So first thing we have to do is to make a slip knot. So we're going to do that by wrapping the yarn around our finger. So we have this nice little loop. Then we're going to take the part of the yarn that's still attached to the skein. We're just going to push a little loop through. And then we're going to pull. And there's a slip knot. Then you can just tighten it on your hook like that. So the next thing we have to do is to chain. And in order to chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through. There's one chain. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. See, there's three chains already. We're going to chain up to 12. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. So you might be asking, why do we chain 12? That's a really weird number. Well, the reason why is because these last two chains we're not going to work into. Those are going to be our room to move vertically. So what we're going to do is our first stitch is going to be put right in here, the third chain from the hook. So how we're going to do that is we're going to yarn over, put our hook right into that chain, yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to yarn over again, pull through just the first two, so you still have two loops on your hook, and you're going to yarn over, pull through the last two. And there's your first double crochet. Alright, so we're going to do that again. Yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Alright, last time, yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there's your double crochets. This is a pretty nice stitch, it's really easy to make simple hats, blankets, pretty much anything. It really is a building block stitch, and it builds up a lot faster than a single crochet or a half double crochet, and it really is one of the most versatile stitches, I think. Alright, so go ahead and finish to the end of this row, and then we're going to go over how to continue this piece and continue to work vertically. So we're at the end of this row, and in order to move vertically, all we're going to do is chain two, one, and two, and we're going to turn our work, and we're going to do the same thing as before, but now we're going to be working right in that hole, right there, underneath both humps of the stitch. So there we go. Once again, that's yarn over, go underneath, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Alright, so one more time, yarn over, push through underneath both of those humps, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Alright, so that's how you continue to move the stitch vertically. You just work the double crochet all the way to the end, and then chain two, turn your work, and keep going. So here's our finished swatch. I just went ahead and cut the end off. You just pull through your hook, and there we go. So I really hope that this video was helpful to anyone learning how to do the simple stitches. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know. And if you have any ideas for a future video, comment that down below, 
and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And, you know, keep an eye out for the videos and maybe click that bell icon if you're looking for more videos on how to crochet. So with that, thank you so much for watching and keep on stitching.